There are three things that I look for in almost any TCP handshake that I analyze. And I'm gonna show you what those are and I'm gonna do it right now. Now for starters, when I'm taking a look at the TCP conversation, I wanna know what is the network round trip time between these two endpoints. And the way that I can do that is if I'm taking a look at the SYN, SYNAC, ACK, and I add up the delta times between the SYN, SYNAC, and the SYNAC and the ACK. Now if I'm capturing client side, that number is gonna be pretty small. Like you can see it here, 260 microseconds. So here I can see, just taking a look at this with my eyes, 14.6 milliseconds between these two endpoints. That's one of the first things that I look at. Now the second thing that I look at when I'm looking at a handshake is I like to see the TCP options. So I'm gonna take a look at that SYN, gonna expand out TCP, come down here. Now in that SYN, that's where the options are exchanged. So right away, I take a look at the MSS, whether I'm using a window scale or not and what that scale factor is. And then I wanna see SAC permitted is my endpoint using selective acknowledgement. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other side. Now, by the way, I can peek at this over in the info column as I get used to looking at it. Here's MSS, window scale factor, and then SAC permitted. Well, on the SYNAC coming back from the opposite side, here I see MSS, SAC permitted, and let's take a look for that window scale. Okay, there's the scale factor or the multiplier that it's using. And the third thing, and maybe I shouldn't have put this third, but something I absolutely check out when I'm looking at handshakes is the port numbers. What port am I hitting on that server? Did it respond? And did it seem like it did so in a timely way? So there's a Wireshark quick tip for you. Just top three things that I look for in any TCP conversation that I analyze. Now, if you want to learn more about the TCP handshake and all of its exchange between those endpoints and how it really works, go ahead and click here to learn more about TCP.